Hi, my name is Claudia Olds Goldie. Welcome to my studio. I'd like to give you the opportunity to have a peek into what I've got in progress right now and talk to you a little bit about my process. What you're looking at here is an unfinished piece. It's been fired, it's been hot fired, once fired, white stoneware, hollow built. Um, it is, I don't um, glaze my surfaces usually, so this is going to have a very non-traditional finish. I'll be drawing on it with graphite pencil. This is my tool of choice, and I'll show you a little bit later on um, what a finished piece looks like so you can understand. Let me turn this piece around so you can see what the front looks like. So recently I've begun um, incorporating animals into my work. So in addition to the figure, I'm very, very interested in that connection between animals and people. And um, there is such a powerful connection that we have to animals. So I'm trying to capture that in my work. This piece is called uh, Got the Bull by Its Tail. It's about strength triumph, control over adversity, and it's a challenge to the historic um, male conqueror on horseback. So this is sort of a girl woman and uh, she's got the bull by its tail. So you go girl. So this is a figure that I've been working on that I've started recently, also made out of white stoneware. Um, you can see it's a little bit leather hard now. It is a hollow built, made from a slab of clay. Um, I actually rolled out the slab of clay, built it vertically, added the legs, and then put it down horizontally um, and added the head. So uh, it's only about a half an inch thick at any, any one place. So the, uh, something this big needs to be built hollow um, if it's going to be fired. So. Um, this piece is going to have a, a figure on it, probably a reclining female figure. Um, very much like a writer, the characters that I develop speak to me. So um, as I work on this, it will inform me where it wants to take me. So I'm assuming I'm going to be putting a, a reclining figure on it. It may change. Um, and that's one of the things that I love about working this way. That I, I, if you go in with an open mind um, and you listen to the stories, um, it makes the piece more interesting and it gives it greater depth. So um, I'm, I'm excited to see where, where this guy goes um, and uh, hopefully you'll see it finish someday. So here I have two finished sculptures. Um, both of them have been finished with graphite pencil drawing on the surface. On this one, the, the, the drawing is on her clothing. On this one, you may notice if you look closely, the drawing is on her skin. So I used my finishing technique with very different intention on both pieces. This one, she's a very still figure, um, very composed, very serene. And I used the pencil to add interest um, and pattern to her clothing textile design. So on this one, this, the um, Eve piece, this is the, if you look closely, you'll see, as I said, that the drawing is on her skin. So I've made a tattoo of snakeskin marks on her skin. Um, these relate to the story of Eve. It relates to the braid, which is turning into the serpent. Um, and it also works to cover her nakedness and her vulnerability because this figure is in a very vulnerable state. Um, so there you have it. Um, thank you for visiting my studio. Um, I hope I have a chance again to uh, show you more. Thanks. Bye-bye.